This is the SoCal Update. I'm Kara Santa Maria. As more production heads out of state, California changes up its incentive plan to keep them around, and with a focus on diversity. It's Tuesday, July 27th. It's called runaway production, and it's what happens when other states and countries induce movies and TV series to leave Hollywood and California with a variety of financial incentives. California has its own production rebate plan, but its latest version has a twist. So John, what's the issue? Well, let's start with the car racing movie Ford versus Ferrari. It came out a couple of years back. And thanks to the state's incentives, which have totaled about $330 million annually, much of that movie was shot in California. But if you look at who made the film, it was almost all white men. The film starred Matt Damon and Christian Bale and almost every lead filmmaker, from its director to its cinematographer to its production designer, was also a white man. And the state wants to make sure that its incentives help more diverse productions going forward. For the first time, the state's new production incentive bill requires recipients of production credits and a new infrastructure incentive not only to share data about their diversity of their cast and crew, but also submit their diversity goals. And productions that meet those goals are eligible for additional incentives as the new bill includes another $330 million of funding. Well, John, I think you and I agree that diversity, equity, and inclusion are critical as moral issues, but we probably also agree that Hollywood is not exactly driven by morality. So why do you think these production companies are gonna change their ingrained behavior? Well, maybe they could look at profit and loss statements because let's take another car racing movie, The Fast and the Furious franchise. It just grossed more than $6.5 billion globally, and that makes it the fifth most popular series in Hollywood history. 